on KCAL News tonight, we're hearing from a good Samaritan who helped rescue a woman stuck in her car after rolling off Mount Baldy. Our Nicole Comstock is live tonight in Ryle to, uh, to with this interview you won't see anywhere else but here. Nicole? Well, you guys, it truly is a miracle that this woman survived. Her truck tumbled 250 feet down a hill and then landed in brush so you couldn't even see her car from the street. Not to mention the Good Samaritan who eventually rescued her tells us he debated taking multiple different routes down to a creek he was visiting that day and ultimately chose the path that led right to her. A helicopter lowers a first responder down into a canyon near Mount Baldy. Found this lady, she's been there since Wednesday. After a good Samaritan found a woman trapped inside this mangled truck, it flipped down an embankment after she swerved to avoid hitting a deer in the dark. I heard her uh, yelling, uh, help, help, and uh, real faint though. Chris Ayers had been fishing in nearby San Antonio Creek when he followed her cries for help. He says he eventually found her standing inside the truck with her head poking out of the window. And there was not much left of her truck. Uh, when I got to the truck, it was mangled pretty bad. And she, I, I don't know how she survived it. I saw the steering wheel was almost folded like a taco. Her head must have hit that. She had been down there alone with head injuries for four very cold nights. She had these uh, bowls of, these bowls set up trying to collect rainwater because I think the night before it, it hailed. And uh, she's, I, I don't know how she survived. She's, she's one tough girl. Chris tried to call 911, but there was no cell reception. He says he tried to flag down an ambulance on the road, but it didn't stop. Finally, he stopped a Forest Service truck and they sent in the rescue crews. Those rescue crews say she may not have survived out here another night. It, it's got to be God led. I happened to stop at that one spot and just. It's almost like fate, you know. Chris knows exactly what it's like to need a miracle. He says 10 years ago he was shot while hunting in Lytle Creek and he himself needed to be airlifted to a hospital. So I've been in her shoes. I know what it feels like. So the, the whole thing was kind of traumatic. That's why I'm just so glad she made it. Well, it is definitely a cold night out here this evening. Uh, we're also told that one of the reasons this woman survived this whole ordeal out there in the cold in the elements like she did is because she had extra supplies in her truck that helped her get through that. We're also told she has a broken ankle and some bruising to her face, but she is recovering. Reporting live in Rialto, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL News. Nicole, thank you. And our Nicole Comstock there live in a very chilly Rialto. Now, Nicole, how does it feel out there tonight? Yeah, like I mentioned, you guys, it is chilly out here tonight, even if you're all bundled up like I am. So you can only imagine what it was like for her out in the elements for four nights and five days without proper winter attire. Must have been really terrible. I can't even imagine. Uh, Nicole, thank you so much.